all right folks welcome to tonight's video uh, this is kind of a quick comparison of what I think is something you ought to think about before you look at some of these budget slash mid-range phones and buy one for basically we're looking at getting one for a college student or for yourself maybe you just need a smartphone and you had an old cheap one like me for years doesn't matter we're going to compare the new mobile g3 which is possibly one of the better um low-end smartphones at 199 dollars we're talking 200 bucks on amazon folks you can go right over to amazon you can get one right here and have it at home it works on gsm which means t-mobile and at&t uh, you're looking at a 5.7 inch HD plus display you're not going to get the best resolution off this 1440 by uh, I believe it's uh, oh, it's, it's 1440 by 720 but let's not look at pixels let's look at how they look and most of the reviewers say that this is a stunning display it just looks good it doesn't matter how many pixels it has who the hell cares as long as it works uh, so we're just going to kind of stick to the specs on the g3 to start it's got a helio uh, p25 which is a mediatek processor at 2.39 gig it's not the core 64 gig of rom which will leave you about 51 52 gig free after the install 4 gig of ram android 7.1.1 that's a down tick that's not a good thing but it has fast charge it has nfc has a dual sim that you can shove a uh, you can take one of the sims out and put a micro sd card in there and expand it up to 128 more gig pretty good stuff uh, if you read their website it's not entirely correct uh, this particular model does have uh, wi-fi bgn and ac as does the asus which we're going to get to next. It has a 3000 milliamp battery. Well, it's in the Asus. So, Asus is already winning here. So, let's go over and check out the Asus specs. Okay, first thing that jumps off the screen. Oops. Right here. $385. 386 technically. Uh... 10 more bucks you could have got two phones and gave them to your college student so when you break the first one put your sim card in the second one yeah got a good thing very good um you will get some advantages both have the same ram four gigabytes uh, Obviously, the Asus is a little more bleeding edge with Android 8.1. But trust me, based on my previous experience with Asus, you're... I had an Asus Z580CA tablet. Fantastic tablet. Bleeding edge tablet. And two years later... No updates. I mean, they did some software updates, but... Nope, no Android updates. Never got to 6 until 2 months after I sold it to some guy. That kind of made me angry. It, it covers all the bands too. Uh, I'm not sure it mentions some CDA, C, CDMA bands in here. You may be able to use it with Verizon. I would check that. It does have a bigger screen, 6.2 inch. And the display is a little, quite a bit better. It's a 1080 display. So, I'm not saying it's better visually. Numbers on paper, once again. 
Uh, it does have a fingerprint sensor, as does the new mobile G3. So, so far, you know, we get kind of a tie. Uh, you get, you do get the Snapdragon 636 at 1.8 gigahertz. And you get a slightly larger battery, I believe it's 3300 milliamp hours. And the Snapdragon is pretty good at, you know, the Qualcomm's are really good at saving on power. But, you're paying twice as much. Twice. Minus 10 bucks. Okay, so 1.9 times as much. And one of these phones, your kids are going to look at and go, Oh my God, it looks just like a Galaxy S9. And they're going to think they're in heaven. And since they're going to sit on Instagram and Snapchat and, you know, all the other crap, they're not going to notice the difference. And unless you're buying a phone to become a photographer, on paper... The rear and front cameras on the mobile G3 are actually better. They are uh, um, 13 megapixels. The secondary camera though on the back isn't as good, although it supposedly does pretty good bokeh effect. Uh, there are a ton of reviews on both of these. As usual, this video it's going to end up on tabletserver.com and it's going to be combined with a second video from a guy I trust, Chris over at techtablets.com who just did a hands-on and unboxing. And there are a few things you get with the, the Asus. Uh, both come with a TPU case. The Asus comes with a set of headphones and a headphone jack. Guess what? Nope. The new mobile, it kind of went for the uh, no headphone jack and you gotta use the adapter and plug your own headphones in. Or you could just use a set of Bluetooth speakers or Bluetooth head headset. That's up to you. Once again, you can buy a whole bunch of accessories for the $200 difference. Moving on. The uh, Asus has some display issues, according to Chris. Like I said, you're going to have to watch the video. It'll come up. Well, it won't come up on this post. I'll link it. You know, if you look at the cards above, the little eye, you'll see. You'll see his video. Or go to tabletserver.com where I'll have the both videos in one post and all of us will be happy uh, <coughs> <coughs> now other than that I don't know what else to say there are a lot more details in the post I put up on my website tabletserver.com but as usual Make sure you link and subscribe to Chris's site at uh, uh, techtablets.com, name of his uh, YouTube channel, or you can just go to his website and you'll get to us, which is also techtablets.com. And please link to ours at High End Cheap Tech. Share both these videos. All I'm saying is, think this stuff out before you run off buying what you think is a great mid-range smartphone that your kid's just going to drop in a puddle or lose in a pool or leave in his girlfriend's car or lose when he's out camping at the lake. Believe me, it happens. It has happened for centuries. It's not going to change. So, on that note... Here's the post I'm writing right now, and uh, you're going to see 
this video inserted here and of course there's Chris's uh, obviously I don't have hands-on on either of these I wish I did hey new mobile Asus get a hold of me I'll test the crap out of them what I will tell you is the edge technically technically goes to the Asus but the common sense edge and the useful day-to-day -day use unless you're a photographer and concerned about bokeh effect and you're dumb enough to hold your camera in portrait mode all the time to take all your pictures kind of like most iPhone users do sorry iPhone users if that was insulting but yeah yeah that's why we make 35 millimeter cameras that you hold sideways never mind all right so we're gonna leave it at that uh, you can get the uh, G3 at Amazon I'll leave the link and you can get the uh, Asus in the black version right now for 385 you're gonna pay even more for the silver one you can find that when you get there they're both gonna be linked on the tabletserver.com post just go there read it and you can watch both videos right there that's all I got for tonight I really really personally if somebody said here's a thousand dollars what are you gonna buy I'd buy the new mobile G3 and I'd pocket the rest of the money and go take a vacation to Haiti or well, Haiti's probably not a good place uh, Jamaica somewhere warm even though it's warm here all right we're gonna leave it at that we're done as usual I'll just say thanks for watching and we're going to cut it off right there before I run my mouth anymore and waste more megabytes. <laughs>